Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys, I can't believe it, how super easy it is to stencil on candles. Did you know you could even do that? I don't necessarily recommend that you burn them, but um, anyways, I'm gonna show you everything start to finish. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Um, I'd love to know where you're watching from and if you're here with me, um, let me know if you have any questions along the way. Feel free to sprinkle all that normal stuff. Okay, so before I came live today, I've just been fiddling around trying to get my feet underneath me on this whole idea of stenciling on candles. And I think, um, first of all, that the best kind of candles to do this on are the battery operated kind. But you can also stencil, stencil on a real candle, okay? Just don't light it and leave it unattended or next to some curtains or in your toddler's bedroom, you know, all those usual kind of things. Um, so let me show you how we're gonna do it. All right, I think using any one of the Magnolia um, all over pattern stencils is the best and easiest way to do it. So I made this one in a snap before I came live. And then I lit it just to see if I could, to see how it would look. Isn't that pretty? And these are some candlesticks that I picked up at Goodwill a while ago, quite a while ago. Okay, so we're gonna make one more of those. Just take that off. And this is the other one that I made earlier. I used gray chalk paste for both of these. I don't know if this has any battery power. Oh, it does. Um, and I was planning to put these like in my dining room in, with all that vintage silver and stuff that I picked up at Goodwill. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's just jump right in. We'll do the taper first and then we'll do um, the pillar. And um, I did also do this one before I came live just to see what it might look like to use white chalk paste and the Victorian pattern stencil on a ivory colored candle. And I don't know if I have any battery power in this, I don't. But I think it's pretty interesting. And if you don't like it, if you use one of these lighter colors, uh, like white or the gray, you can just wash it off. It, it came right up. This one I did once and I didn't do a good job. I figured out a trick that I wanna show you. Um, and I was able to just wash it off with the sponge in the kitchen sink. So I'm sure I can just wash this off and you could change it out. Oh my word. Okay, so we're gonna be using this stencil, which is called Lace Flowers and Berries. And when I get off, I'll, I'll put some links in the comments if you want it. Um, but for example, this is my Victorian pattern all over stencil. You could do polka dots. You could do the all over fall leaves. Forgive my stencils, they don't look good because I love them and I use them. And they're reusable many, 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 many times. This is another cute one too that's called Retro Flower. That would be cute. Or there's this one that's called Damask. That would be pretty. You could use the one that has the leopard prints on it. Um, there's stripes. There's all kinds of different things that, that you could do. Okay, so the trick I found, um, I'm running my pattern this way. Okay, and what I found was best was to um, leave yourself something to hold on the bottom. So I didn't, so look on this one, you can see. I didn't do the bottom. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get the stencil off and to manage it. Um, and I'm working on a soft surface here. Um, I'm just gonna lay my stencil down and I'm gonna put my candle on it, laying it, you know, as straight as possible. 
okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the stencil over on itself, and you're actually gonna push the two ends together, so it's gonna stick to itself a little bit. Now, here's my warning. Don't do this the very first time with a brand new stencil. My stencils that I've used a lot are pretty safe because they'll just come right apart. Um, but generally, you don't ever want your stencils to fold over sticky side to sticky side on them, except for in this, in this project, because otherwise you'll have a row that has nothing on it. So I've got it, uh, let's see, how am I gonna lay this so you can see? Okay, so I'm just going to essentially roll my stencil, my candle, excuse me, into itself, and then it's gonna overlap a little bit. And I'll pick this up and show you. And I'm sorry, it's hard to, I don't know what are the right words to describe what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so. Can you see it's hidden in here and then it's folded over on itself and that way we won't have a blank area all right so now the other thing i found was that it's easier to apply the chalk paste and i'm using chalk paste from magnoliadiy.com not ink um chalk paste will not be permanent. Like I said, you can wash it off if you don't like it. It may stain a little bit if it's a super dark color, um, but the lighter colors didn't seem to stain any of my candles because I experimented with that. Um, but I have found that it's easier to apply chalk paste on this kind of a project with one of these little brushes. This one right here was a Dollar Tree special. It's just a little pouncer brush that you can use when you're using those, those plastic um, stencils that have the cutouts that are not adhesive. This is what you're supposed to use to pounce. I'm gonna use this for the candle. So, hey Carolyn, hi Myra, hey Amy Jo. How's everyone doing today? Okay, so I'm just gonna actually take my little brush and get some globs. And see, I have this to hold on to now. So I'm gonna basically just start at that fold and I'm just brushing my chalk paste onto the candle. And the first time I did this, it didn't look great. So this is one of those projects where after you do it a couple times, you can wash your candle off in between you'll get the hang of it. Just don't expect it to be perfect the very first time. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going, but I wanna hold this up so you can see. It's going on pretty thick. Oops, and I just went outside of my lines at the bottom, but that's okay, I'll be able to clean that off easy. I'm just looking to see that I'm getting it pushed through the holes. I'm going all the way over to the spot where I kind of folded it over on top of itself. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm just going to Lay it down to pull it apart. So can you guys see, I'm just pulling this part that I folded over on itself apart. And then, and I did get it on pretty thick right there, but then I'm just going to pull it off. And that's what you get. Isn't that cool? So let me stick it in here. And I'll come back and clean off that smudge in the bottom when I'm all finished. Okay, we're gonna use the same stencil and I'm gonna do it on this pillar in the same color. So I'm just gonna lay it down. I can throw my tacky towel here, my fuzzing cloth, in the washing machine just in case you're wondering if I'm wrecking it or 
or whatnot. I'm really not. Okay, and we're going to go the other direction. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm not going to cover the very top of it. See, can you see how I left that part blank? So, I'll try not to put my dress into my chalk paste. I'm just pulling this over as tight as I can, I'm pushing it down, and then pull this side over, and then I'm looking to bring my two sides together. Okay. Okay, so here's the candle, and here's the two sides that are together. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing. On this one, we could use a squeegee if we wanted, so I may come back and use the squeegee a little bit, um, and I'm gonna start right at the fold. Let's try the squeegee here. I just think it's easier to use the pounce brush thing. So let's just finish this up with that. This um, paste that we're using is called Cool Gray Chalk Paste. It's a great color. I need to order another tub of it. I've used a lot of it lately. Um, so. I love gray and white for, for winter. Um, and I have a project behind me that I want to show you just for fun because when I was looking for my candles to do this with, I stumbled onto it and I thought, oh my gosh, I loved this project. So we'll definitely do something like it again this year. Okay, and I went all the way over to the edge of where my stencils kind of meet up. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna pull it apart. Pull it off. Ooh, that looks good, but I do have a gap. Dang, and that's what I was trying to avoid. So let me throw my stencil here in the water so it can start soaking and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I could, if I was super motivated and a perfectionist, I could start, I could wash it off and start over again, but I probably won't because I think it looks just fine like that. What do you guys think? Do you like this idea? It's very different and you love it. This was a good idea and it could be a good gift. That's what Delaney, <laughs> Delane, I think is how you say your name says. Where did I get my pounce brush? This one came from Dollar Tree, just in the craft section. Um, so these were the things that we made. Um, just move this out of the way so I can show you. Uh, And here's the one that we just did. What do you guys think? Do you like the idea of doing different colors and doing different stencils? I, um, I couldn't believe how easy it was. Okay, so let me show you this idea that I just 
stumbled across um, when I was getting ready today. Move these over. Um, it was this. And who remembers when we made all those um, paper snowflakes out of vintage sheet music with glitter? Does anyone remember that? We even put some, I have this vase in my kitchen that has a bunch of branches from the yard that have dried out and we used fishing line and we made small sparkly um, paper snowflakes out of sheet music and I hung them at different lengths from those branches. It was super cute. And then I had this up there as well and it's a little dusty, but inside is another fun idea to just roll your sheet music up and glitter some of them and don't glitter some of them can you see that and they're just a great little sit about so I just wanted to show you that too we'll definitely come back to this idea and we'll be using um, a little more glitter than I have been lately because it's really not glitter season yet um, Anyways, I just wanted to show you that idea. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of these projects or, um, you know, where to get things. These two tapers came from Hobby Lobby this week. The other candles are candles that I've had laying around and I've switched them out with the candle garters a hundred times and I just keep reinterpreting them into something new. The sheet music came from um, some sheet music that I found at a thrift store. What else? The, um, the colored stuff that you see on these candles is chalk paste and it's called cool gray chalk paste. It's from Magnolia DIY. And then this stencil here is the one that's called um, lace flowers and berries and it's from magnolia diy too so anyways if you're just hopping on and you want to go back and watch from the beginning um you'll be able to see everything that i showed about how easy it is to stencil on candles i mean seriously and um they feel it feels pretty stable it's not like it's going to crumble off and i like the idea that you could change it out when you're tired of it so just I use chalk paste. Yes, Tara. Okay, so here's my um, lawyer warning. Don't light any candles in any area of your home where there are fabrics or something flammable. Um, don't light candles and leave them unattended. Don't light candles and leave them where young children or pets could knock them over. Uh, and I don't think there's any risk with the battery operated ones and honestly I don't think there's a lot of a risk with the with these ones so long as I'm paying attention and I don't light a candle and then leave town alrighty thank you guys for watching I'm gonna leave this right here in case you want to do a quick screenshot Let's see. that could be a pretty shot Hey, and if you didn't see this project that we did this week, this was another fun thing that we did. This, you can see this gray and cream colored theme that I have going on. If you missed this video, you should watch it. It was super easy and really fun. All right, have a wonderful afternoon. I'll get pictures and I'll put them here in the comments as well as just at DIY Dreaming. And let me know if you want links, and I will see you guys later. Thanks.